I know for a living fact that when you use your mind effectively and you truly participate, then you become what your dreams are. And the thing is, don't set goals for things that you truly don't want to do or you just set yourself up for disappointment and you can lose faith in yourself. And the other thing is don't set more goals than is realistically achievable. Normally, you have a primary goal, a must accomplish, a secondary goal, I should get this done, and a third goal, if I can get those other two done, I'd like to get this done. That way, if something's blocking you, maybe your car breaks down or the person doesn't show up for an appointment or whatever, you go to the should do, and then once you got that done, you go to the would like to do. everybody I hope you're enjoying my YouTube channel today I'd like to talk to you about one of the things I teach in PPS success mastery lesson 3 on goal setting which you can find at the Czech Institute CHEK Institute.com in the e-learning section the PPS lessons are the 12 lessons that I created after spending many many years as a therapist and life coach and trainer of elite athletes and I looked at what were the 12 most common things that stopped people from achieving their goals, dreams, or objectives in life. So without going through all the lessons, in lesson three on goal setting I teach something very very important and I developed a test called the Grand Canyon test so that people could have a means of testing whether or not the way they're stating their goals is likely to produce results. So the example I give is this. If you stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon and say, I want to lose 30 pounds, and that's your goal. You say, my goal is to lose 30 pounds. I want to lose 30 pounds. I say, what would the Grand Canyon say back to you? It will say, I want to lose 30 pounds. Well, you got to realize wanting is a verb. So when you hear, I want, that's what you get in 30 days or 60 days or 90 days. You're still wanting. And that's why so many people don't realize the power of the mind. If source is unconditional love or pure potential, the answer is always yes. If you want a negative, it'll give it to you. If you want a positive, it'll give it to you. So if you say, I choose to lose 30 pounds and I look and feel great, and you know that it's 30 days, and the Grand Canyon says back, I choose to learn it's 30 pounds, and I look and feel great. Or you can say, I lost 30 pounds, and I look and feel great. Either way, if you say, I choose to, it means you're activating your awareness of your adult responsibility. If you say, I have to, then it means that somebody else is controlling you, and you've given away your freedom or you're just playing a dangerous game with yourself. Marshall Rosenberg says the words I have to are the words of a child. The words I choose to are the words of an adult. So when you're writing out a goal, state it like you're standing at the edge of the Grand Canyon and hear it coming back. And if you don't have the language so that you're already experiencing it, you're already visualizing it, it's already happening, and the more emotion you feel, so I have lost 30 pounds and I look and feel great, and you visualize yourself as that person living that way, feeling your body that way, and the emotion speeds the rate of neural transformation and the development of new networks that support that reality that you're creating. And research on the nervous system and the brain shows neural networks can form. They begin forming within seconds. And as long as you keep reaffirming and charging with emotion, the more emotion is, the more intensity there is in the reformation of the neural network. If you say, I look and feel great, I've lost 30 pounds, there's no emotional charge there. Remember, if you can't convince yourself of it, then you can't convince yourself of it, <laughs> right? When you 
are committed to being that person and you begin to think, act, and live as that person each day, and you say, okay, would the 30 pound lighter and healthier me eat that? No, because that'll put weight back on me. Would they drink that? No, that'll stress me out, overstimulate me, and make it hard to sleep. So it's really, really important that the mind takes you literally and source takes you literally. So if you keep wanting, you're gonna keep wanting, but if you choose to and you execute or you have and you believe and you live that way, you're gonna get it. You're gonna live that way. That's who you'll be. And I know it works because I've been doing it my whole life. And I've beaten the odds in many instances where people told me, oh, you don't have a college degree, you're not gonna get this or get that or whatever. Well, I've got a ninth grade education and I've lectured in medical schools and chiropractic schools and osteopathic schools and physical therapy schools. I've got three patents. I've written, I'm on my 12th book. I live in the house of my dreams with a beautiful family in a beautiful place. And I developed an entire institute. And what can I say except I know for a living fact that when you use your mind effectively and you truly participate, then you become what your dreams are. And the thing is, don't set goals for things that you truly don't want to do or you just set yourself up for disappointment and you can lose faith in yourself. And the other thing is don't set more goals than is realistically achievable. Normally, you have a primary goal, a must accomplish, a secondary goal, I should get this done, and a third goal, if I can get those other two done, I'd like to get this done. That way if something's blocking you, maybe your car breaks down or the person doesn't show up for an appointment or whatever, you go to the should do, and then once you got that done, you go to the would like to do. So remember, the answer to your prayers and your thoughts and your goals is yes, and there's nothing more powerful than the word because the word takes the thought image and puts it into tangible vibration or you wouldn't be able to hear me right now. And then the word is multiplied by the power of the deed. So dream it, say it, live it. And that's how you do it. And that's what we all need to do together for each other, first for ourselves, then for each other, then for the world. I think we got a lot to do together and today's a great day to really learn to use your mind effectively and get clear on your dreams and write your goals effectively and say them out loud every day. Program yourself with it. Fill yourself full of emotion. See yourself as that person and be that person each day and watch what manifests. Thanks for sharing with me. Lots of love. See you next time.